Hello YouTube, and welcome to my lab. Today I'll be making ammonium sulfamate from sulfamic acid and ammonia solution. In this video, I'll be using 120 grams of sulfamic acid and 110 milliliters of a 25% ammonia solution. This represents a 20% excess of ammonia. Sulfamic acid exists as two tautomers, the neutral form, as shown on the left, and the zwitter ionic form shown on the right. At room temperature, the zwitter ionic form predominates. Sulfamic acid can be obtained from these scaling products, which is where I got mine. For this purpose, sulfamic acid is perfect, as not only is the sulfamic acid non-volatile, the resulting calcium and iron salts are also water-soluble. To the sulfamic acid, I added 100 milliliters of ice cold water in order to help everything mix. The addition of water to the sulfamic acid did not generate any significant heat. I then placed the beaker on the hot plate, added a stir bar, and allowed the sulfamic acid solution to stir. Next, I slowly began the addition of the ammonia solution. The reaction between the ammonia and sulfamic acid is a simple acid-base reaction producing our desired product, ammonium sulfamate. I kept the beaker covered with some plastic wrap in an effort to prevent ammonia fumes from escaping. Once I finished adding all of the ammonia, I used a little bit of wet litmus paper to see if the solution is still basic. Based on the litmus paper turning blue, it is noted that the headspace of the beaker contains a lot of ammonia. Testing the solution itself, the litmus paper shows that it's slightly acidic. Ammonium sulfamate is an acidic salt and a concentrated solution should approach a pH of around 5 to 6. After forming the salt, we now proceed to evaporating the solution to isolate the crystalline product. Ammonium sulfamate is hygroscopic and will pull water out of the air and hold on to it which means we really need to crank up the heat in order to drive off all the water. The solution supersaturated and formed crystals immediately after I agitated the solution. Using a metal cup, I proceeded to crush the crystals, trying to form something resembling a powder. In total, I kept the hot plate heating for a full 24 hours in order to dry the product. In the end, I managed to get 122 grams of ammonium sulfamate product. This is somewhat low considering I started with 120 grams of sulfamic acid, however I suspect the sulfamic acid contains some water. 
I'll be using ammonium sulfamate in the preparation of nitriles in a future video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.